Castro. Yes, Mother. I'm gonna get a clear view of the Rainbow Comet with this. I can see forever with my super optic binoculars. Astronomy Club members of the Elephant Primary School, please report to Gate 7. Let's go! Astro, if something happens, please be sure to contact me with this. Okay. What do you mean, if something should happen? Oh, no, don't worry. There's no danger. It's just a scientific outing, a regular part of the Astronomy Club's activity, but it's always better to be prepared for an emergency. All their activities are planned by a computer, supervised by a computer, and evaluated by a computer, so you can see nothing can go wrong. But, Mrs. Gordon, is it all right for them to go alone? They're so young and high-spirited. That's the point of this trip, to test their independence and their ability to get things done on their own. My son told me that. Oh, dear, he's getting to be so grown up. Have they all gotten on board? No one's forgotten anything, have they? Everything is fine. What are you so worried about? They'll be all right. They're my kids. Don't worry. Easy for you to say. so great about that? I've been on space shuttles so much I've forgotten how many times. It's about as common as eating candy. Alvin, are you eating already? It's none of your business. I can do what I want. And I'm going to eat too. Mm. I've got instant noodles. Space food isn't that great. I could sure use a hamburger. What are you doing? It's not dinner time yet. Yeah. Got to keep the regulations. Remember what the teacher said. Everybody has to cooperate. Yes, a small thing may turn into a big problem. What? Where's proof I've had anything to eat, huh? I can't prove it, but. <laughs> See, you can't prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Look there, a satellite. That was put into orbit in the late 1900s. It isn't being used anymore. It just keeps on orbiting the Earth. Kenneth, isn't it time for our studies now? Huh? You're right. Everyone take your seats. OK, okay. I'll sit over here. Boys and girls, before getting into our studies of comets, I'd like you to practice getting into your spacesuits in case of an emergency. Get going, everyone, except Astro, of course. Yes, Doctor. Yeah. How do I button this? I can't find any buttons. Look, do it like this. Well, there's no hole for my head. Huh? You've got it upside down. So, now that you've got them on, let's continue the lecture with the outfits on for a while. Comets are a type of star in the solar system made up of frozen gas and minute particles. They usually roam around in space, but at times are pulled by the gravity of the sun and approach the solar system. And with the heat and light of the sun, the frozen gas melts and flows. That's what we see as the tail of the comet. The rainbow comet we're going to study today is known for its beautiful seven-colored tail. That was seven colors. Are you still listening, Alvin? Now, why is this gas colored? Well, the answer seems to lie in the chemical composition of the gas. Theodore, Dr. Alvin said not to go in there. Those are very delicate instruments. Ah, uh, don't worry. Listen, what's that sound? Hey, 
forgot to turn the gravity stabilizer switch back on. Ooh. Hey, that's my burger. Don't you dare eat my burger. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my soup. That's good to hear. Hmm? I'm a bit jealous. I've always wanted to travel in space and drink a little whiskey. Just a little. I see. So it wasn't your concern for the children that made you want to go with them. Of course. There's nothing that concerns me more. I wonder where they are. Then you'll be pleased to know that the rocket will be reaching the moon shortly. The Rainbow Comet is just about to come into orbit with Venus. It must be a beautiful sight. carrying the Astronomy Club students is veering off course. What? Time, eh, Astro? Atlas, 
Then this must be... That's right, the crystal castle of the future conqueror of the Earth. Welcome back. Are you still planning that? Where is everybody? What have you done with my friends? <laughs> I won't kill them. Astro, are you going to listen to me now? I told you I won't join your evil plot. Not evil. Just sacrifices that lead to good. I want to have human friends. I like them. You're a fool. What do you gain by having human friends? Astro, let me show you what I can offer you. Wow, what a big hat. I wonder whose it is. But I think I've seen it before. No, wait a minute. This is just like mine. How did it get to be so big? Astro, hey, Alvin. Alvin. I'm over here. Here I am. Over there. Oh. Huh? I thought I heard him. Hey, Alvin. What's happening? Oh. <laughs> hey, how did you all get to be so big? We're not big. You just got puny. Oh, yeah, why you? Gotcha. Better watch out or I'll flatten you. They're starting to realize what's happening. Now I'll show them a little more. <laughs> If you don't join me, I'll shrink your friends just like that, one at a time. But if you do join me, I'll send them back safely to Earth. Now it's all up to you, Astro. <laughs> Astro! 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 Hmm. No reply at all. What's happened up there? Okay, tough guy, now that you've been cut down to size, you know what's gonna happen to you? I didn't really mean it, Alvin, didn't? Mm, better run, shrimp. Hmm? Huh? Hey, get away from me! <laughs> Alvin, I'll get you for this! Oh! Help! Oh, don't! Don't shrink me! Make them all small. I don't like this idea of having a run from a little girl. I can shrink them even more. If you delay one more hour, Astro, he'll disappear altogether. What, Liz? I'll do as you say. Just let my friends go and make them the way they were before. Fasten your seatbelts. But Astro isn't here. Neither's Jump. What's that? It's the moon, but it sure looks funny, doesn't it? Hey, what's that? The rocket. Are they all right? Hooray! This is strange. They're still in danger. I calculated their course. The rocket is nearing... What? What? But that can't be right! The surface of Venus is over 400 degrees. A fiery hell they'll never survive! Astro! 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 Astro, at last you're my comrade. Astro! Huh? Astro, 
Astro, come in. Oh, John. Astro. Doctor. Ah, oh, Astro. The rocket's heading for Venus. Do something. Venus, it can't be. <laughs> Why so surprised? I have it in my power to send a rocket to any place in the galaxy I choose. So you plan to send them to Venus all along? I thought it would be educational for them to view the rainbow comet from there. <laughs> I've got to save them. Stop him. Seize him. <laughs> You know you'll never get away from me! Hey, where are we headed for anyway? Ah, it's Astro! Astro! Astro, help us! I think this is what you wanted. Thanks. Lightning saber! Oh, Astro's gone!
Why do you resist me like this? All right. If you continue to go against my will, we are enemies from this day forward. <laughs> Ha 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 